Hey there, church. Today I want to look at a story of one of Jesus' closest friends. We know that Jesus had his 12 disciples, but within that group there was an even deeper relationship with three men. These men were John, James, and Peter. There is perhaps no one I relate to more in the Bible than Peter. He was always the one to jump into conversations at the most inconvenient times. You never knew if he was going to say something wise beyond his years or something that was completely unrelated. Peter was always a wild card. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. In Matthew chapter 16, Jesus asked his disciples perhaps the most important question that we could ever be asked. He said this to his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They replied by saying, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah or Jeremiah. So Jesus asked this, Who do you say that I am? Let's stop there. We know that there's a lot of right answers to this, but the way that you answer this question will be very telling as to how you personally see Jesus. If you were asked this question, how would you respond? To you, is Jesus just a good person? Is he generous? Is he a healer? Is he just a friend? These are all good things, but are not fully correct. We know this because Peter gives the correct answer right after. He says, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Let me remind you that this was not a question that Jesus asked only Peter. He asked all of his disciples. Yet for some reason, Peter was the only one that was bold enough to take a shot at answering. And Jesus replies back to Peter by saying this, you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. And now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. And I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Man, what a promise. Because of how Peter saw Jesus, Jesus poured out his blessings and authority over Peter. And this is what happens when we see God for who he truly is. We get invited to a deeper and more intimate relationship with him where he's eager to pour out his favor over you. It is equally important because later on in this book, we see the consequences of what happens when we choose to see Jesus for less than who he truly is. So I wanna invite you to come back tomorrow for part two of this mini series where we're talking more about the life of Peter. We love you and we hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. God bless you.